This is a guide on replacing an LCD panel on Apple MacBook 13. The battery is not easily removable on this laptop, so make sure to not accidentally power on the system during disassembly. Never disconnect or reconnect any cables when the computer is on, unless specifically advised that it is safe to do so. To gain access to the panel, you will need to remove the thin plastic bezel from the display assembly. The bezel is glued on, so it is highly recommended to use a heat gun for removal. Other tools you will need are a Phillips screwdriver and a putty knife. Also, it's good to have a pick or a flat screwdriver handy. Start by gently heating up the edge of the display assembly. Apply heat evenly throughout the perimeter and do not stay in one spot for too long. Apply heat for 60 to 90 seconds at most. Then, using a putty knife, start separating the bezel at the top right corner. Ensure that you are separating between the rubber gasket and the back cover. The rubber gasket is part of the bezel and should stay with it. Proceed separating the bezel with a putty knife around the perimeter until you are able to continue with your fingers. Be gentle and try to pull from both inner and outer sides of the plastic bezel. The eyesight camera may fall out as it's only held up by the bezel. Just put it back in place and make sure the cables are properly routed. At this point, you have access to the mounting screws. There are a total of six screws, four on the sides and two smaller ones on the bottom edge. There are two screws close together on the right bottom corner. You need to remove the bottom one. The one above is for the wireless antenna cable. Once all the screws are removed, the LCD panel can be removed. Grab a hold of the upper mounts on the sides Lean the panel forward about half an inch, then pull straight up about an inch. Make sure to apply control force since the screen is equipped with a locking bracket connector, which will need to be opened before removing the screen fully. Use your flat screwdriver or a pick and unlock the video connector's bracket, picking it from the top of the connector. Once fully unlocked, the panel can be removed. Take out your replacement panel and remove the protective film. Reconnecting the new panel is a bit of a challenge. This procedure took quite a bit of practice and a heap of patience. The video connector is at a slight angle and we found that it is easier to actually plug the screen into the connector rather than the other way around. Remember that the connectors are very fragile and you must be very aware of forces being applied on them. Secure the video cable by the locking bracket, which is also very, very fragile. Tilt the panel a bit to the left while holding it up. Then lower the panel onto the connector once it is properly aligned. Then, using a flat screwdriver, Make sure that the connection is complete by leveraging it to push the connector up and lock the connector's bracket, then lower the screen into its original position. We highly recommend testing the screen at this point. Push the power button, wait for the startup screen to appear, and hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Then, replace the mounting screws. Remember that the two smaller ones go on the bottom, and it is also important to make sure that the screws go in freely and are flush with the mounting brackets, otherwise the bezel will have bumps on it. Go ahead and replace the bezel. Align with the bottom edge, then snap in both upper corners into the guiding pins. Then, go around the perimeter of the bezel, pressing firmly on the plastic to let the adhesive catch back in place. And you're done.